Hey guys, Carrie Werner here and Emily Werner standing in Roth Rock State Forest, about to tackle the Roth Rock Trail Mix Imba Epic. We're parked at the Galbraith Trailhead, which is just past the Puffy Mountain Ski Area. That's about a 15 minute drive from downtown State College and about an hour 15 from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Despite growing up in Southeastern PA, Emily actually has more experience riding these trails than I do. So Transylvania Epic, which is a mountain bike stage race, also uses these trails, and this will be my seventh year doing it, so. Emily is a veteran. She knows about these trails. What are the trails like? If you're not familiar with riding in Pennsylvania, there's tons of flat rock. We're still doing a decent amount of climbing today, like 4,000 feet. 4,200. Um, you're gonna be working for it. Yeah, and expect it to take a while. We're doing a 36 mile loop today, 80% single track, and about 4,200 feet of climbing. We're thinking it'll take about like four, four and a half hours. Some of the highlights that we'll be hitting today are Tussie's Ridge, a pretty iconic ridgeline trail with some awesome views. That'll for sure keep you coming back here. We'll also be doing John Wirt, which is like a multi, multi mile rock garden trail. Yeah, um, that's, that's one of those trails that Emily was talking about. Right. Flat, rocky, kind of torturous. Maybe the best way to prepare for it is getting some CrossFit hours in. Classic trail, Lawnberger. That's a good kind of tester right here at the beginning to kind of show you what we're getting into. There's a lot of streams and creek crossings, so you can bring a filter and, and get water pretty easily, even during the summer, but there's definitely no food out there, so you're gonna wanna take that into consideration and, and pack it in. But these trails are managed by the Nittany Mountain Bike Association, an IMBA chapter. They've been reworking these trails and making them more sustainable and actually more fun to ride. Nothing huge to know here about the trail. You know, there's no fees or anything like that associated with it. It is a popular place. We're here on Saturday. Um, there's a lot of cars in the parking lot. A lot of people here to ride. Yeah, be ready for that. But at the same time, you won't be out there alone. If you're out here riding during hunting season, these are state game lands, so maybe wear some vibrant colors. Do not wear a white capped helmet. You don't want to be mistaken for a white tailed deer. We're going to start here with the black gum trail. Right here from the parking lot. Let's get into it. This is one of those Nittany Mountain Bike Association trail we reworks. Rock armored climb up Lawnberger with as many cars as I saw in the parking lot. I can see why this would have to be done. Here we are less than a mile in. This trail three bridges is exactly what Emily is talking about. No joke. Be prepared. Those first seven miles, they're rocky. And it doesn't stop from here. We're averaging like five miles an hour. We need to turn it on. It's gonna be dark before we finish. Trail user. Come on through, man. Yep, cheers. 
busy, busy day in the forest. Oh, we're here now. It's just like this the whole way across the ridge. If you can manage to take your eyes off the trail for a second, check out the views off this ridge. Oh, this is sick. We don't get to see this in the race much. Doing the the Imba Epic, the Roth Rock. Yep, we just did that last year. Oh, nice. Yeah. How long did it take you? you uh, about six and a half hours. Yes. Hey, you guys have a good one. Have fun, guys. Take care. Yeah, like last year. yeah that way. Don't miss that turn like Emily did. Right! This is it! Multi mile rock garden. Do you remember how awful it was? This is a roto tunnel if I ever did see one. In under five hours, we made it. Whoo! That was a big day, much bigger than expected. Four hours and 50 minutes for 35 miles and basically 5,000 feet climbing. Seven mile an hour average, but I'm so glad we made it in under five hours. Just like Emily said, lots of flat, tough rock gardens throughout the whole thing. Yeah, so just a few things to touch on here before we conclude. I think first thing that I didn't really mention before is you're gonna want a tire that can withstand a lot of abuse here. I'm running Maxxis Recon Races, the 60 TPI version. It's got EXO protection. I would recommend some kind of protection, whether single or double layer. If you're running an XC tire, you might wanna think about running a Cush Core. It's gonna want some kind of extra flat prevention. Also, I would make sure you stock up your stands before you come here or whatever sealant you use and bring a plug kit. Maybe a couple tubes. There's just a lot of opportunity to flat out there. Bike wise, I would definitely suggest a full suspension. 120, 120 is pretty perfect for here. There's not a ton of like long descents where you'd want a trail bike. And with there just being a lot of flat so grunty efforts, yeah, you probably don't want all that weight. 120, 120, that's what Emily and I are both using and it works pretty well. Just make sure you get your suspension dialed in. I think maybe the last thing is be prepared for a full body workout out there. This is not this is not your typical mountain bike ride. This is not flow trail. This is lots of, of arm pump, lots of like 
unweighting the front and rear and upper body maneuvering. So sore hands. Yeah, sore hands. Sore calves. Sore feet. Yeah, a lot of opportunities for like stalling out, tipping over, maybe hit the gym. Some push-ups. Get a couple push-ups in, in the parking lot, you'll be set. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed.